five unbelievable medical instruments ever used. Number five, iron lung. More formally known as a negative pressure regulator, the iron lung was basically a respirator that helped people breathe when they were unable to do so on their own. There were actually a few varieties of iron lung that were in use back in the day, although they all ended up performing the same function. The negative pressure regulator has now somewhat fittingly been replaced for the most part with the devices that instead engage in positive pressure ventilation. This form of respirator basically fills the lungs with air and then allows the body to naturally exhale. The concept of the iron lung dates back to 1670, when it was first conceived by John Mayow. His early iterations were basically an adapted bellows contraption and weren't all that useful medically. His models were built upon by John Dalziel in 1832, who presented ideas that would lead to the improved respirators that were introduced a year or so later. The iron lung itself was developed in the early 1900s, and all sorts of engineers set to work to make future devices even more effective. Iron lungs are most often associated with the polio outbreak in the 1940s and 1950s, with the devices being in high demand due to the symptoms of the deadly disease, including the lungs of its victims ending up becoming paralyzed. Iron lungs are still sometimes used today, with some patients spending most of their lives hooked up, with most of those being treated at home these days. Number 4. Osteotome First invented and developed in 1830 by a German physician by the name of Bernard Hain, the osteotome, or chain osteotome as Hain called it, is a brutal looking instrument that we'd be wary of getting too close to for any reason. This probably has something to do with the fact that it's used for cutting or chiseling away at bone. Resembling a standard chisel mixed with a mini chainsaw, the osteotome is still used in a variety of fields, including plastic surgery and dentistry, to name just two. This machine is quite gnarly looking and is beveled on both sides, making it seem even more dangerous. We can't imagine having to undergo surgery back in the 1800s when this thing was in play, especially because painkillers just weren't a thing and anesthesia involved more drawbacks than the actual surgery sometimes. If someone came at us with one of these things, we'd faint from shock before they even touched us with it, which, come to think of it, would alleviate the need for anesthetics to begin with. Earlier versions of this medical instrument are definitely more rough around the edges than their, admittedly, more sleek, modern counterparts. But even the osteotomes of the modern world are enough to make us shudder. The first osteotome invented looks more like a serrated chainsaw than anything else, and was designed to basically perform the same function which was to make sawing or shaping bone easier to pull off. Number 3. Tonsil Guillotine Tonsillectomies are still performed today, although with less frequency than in previous decades. The devices that are used to perform the procedures are traditionally known as tonsil guillotines. They have undergone many changes throughout their lifetime, which officially dates back to 1828. Tonsillectomies have been going on for thousands of years, however, which means that anyone prior to the 1800s probably would have had to deal with a much nastier operation. Still the tonsil guillotine, which later became known as the tonsillotome. They began to fade away by the 1900s as scalpels and forceps were favored by surgeons, with the latter being infinitely less barbaric in the long run. The tonsillotome wasn't necessarily an issue, with many devices from that time being much more worrisome. But taking a look at early models makes you wonder just how people were able to put up with such abuse. Number 2. Ecrisur These devices are pretty basic in nature, although they probably hurt like none other when they were used. They were designed to remove unwanted growths back in the day, with some even being specialized for general castration, which gives you a sense of what we're dealing with here. Some look a lot like forceps with metal rings on the end, while others employ a wire that can loop around and be tightened. Both of these techniques are supposed to cut off blood flow to whatever needs to be removed, allowing it to either eventually fall off on its own or be forcibly removed. They were used widely for things like hemorrhoids, which doesn't sound like a pleasant experience, and we have to wonder just how bad hemorrhoids need to be in order to think that this kind of device will actually offer tangible relief. They're also able to remove tumors, cysts, polyps, or other such growths, with surgeons of the past being more like butchers than healers. We can be thankful that modern medicine has more subtle approaches to these things and are glad we weren't alive when the ecrosaur was all the rage. Number 1. Lithotome Cache 
This device was initially designed to remove bladder stones and looks like it really doesn't lend itself to pleasant experiences. While you might initially assume that the entire thing was meant to be inserted into the urethra, you can rest easy knowing that it's actually supposed to be inserted through a small incision. That's still not going to be a very comfortable operation. The lithotome cache features blades that are housed within its casing that help to snip the bladder. Once that's done, the device is opened up, allowing for a small hole to be widened enough to fit forceps through. The forceps are then used to remove the stones with minimal fuss. That's probably easier said than done, although it should be pointed out that these are probably the most harmless instrument featured on today's list. Alright guys, we have something very exciting for you to see. Make sure to visit Vovo Gifts channel. If you like what we have on TechJoint, then we know you will love what we have there too. But be warned, the videos over on Vovo Gifts are extremely addicting to watch as well. There will be a link in the description to the Vovo Gifts channel, so make sure to visit now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our future videos.